it's amazing. Just a spring Q and A only. It's not a spring Q and A. It is a random Q and A. Because <laughs> my <laughs> in place as our autumn Q and A. So why out. don't you go watch that? It's on the I button right there. I've just made more work for myself. <laughs> <laughs> well done, girl. Or is it over there? Do you know a hoarder? I know you want to do this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Who? My dad. <laughs> and my grandma. You? I know Daisy's dad briefly. So. And you kind of know my grandma, really. Yeah, you did meet her. I've met her. So yeah, I know, I know two hoarders. And my auntie Jo, <gasps> who is my dad's sister. Oh, so basically it's in your dad's blood, isn't it? Okay, you can ask. Me oh, wait, and my <laughs> granddad, which is his dad, is a hoarder. Don't know where he is, so shout out to him. Hi. What would you name your son if you had one? Theo. Oh yeah, we did have a conversation about that. Do you remember? Yeah. I always said I'd call him Felix. But everybody said that was a cat's name. Oh, Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? British. British. American just so annoying. I'm sorry, <laughs> no offense, any American. I know sorry. that there are some Americans that watch this, and I'm really sorry, but I find oh, some of your voices annoying. Not all, just sometimes when you speak so much, like when you don't stop talking, you're just like, la, la, la. Yeah. I like my accent. I mean, I don't know if I can go as far and say I like my accent, but. Are your grandparents still married? No. Nope. Neighbour. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma and my granddad, don't know where my granddad is, they split up. My grandma now has a boyfriend. <laughs> that sounds weird, yeah. but like, his name's Doug. He's in, he's in our family. And he's gone, he's gone. Uh, <laughs> my nana and papa, they're not married, but they act like they're married. They're so cute. Um, but she did get divorced to my real granddad. If that makes sense. So everybody just got a divorce and got a new, <laughs> got a new dude. Well, I mean, technically, I have a nan and granddad on one side, but they're both dead, so they're technically still married, but none of them are alive. And then on my other side, my nan, I don't think, I don't know if she ever married my granddad, but I've never met my granddad because he, like, dates younger women, like, inappropriately, <laughs> so we don't really talk about him. <laughs> and she's single. Hit her up. <laughs> I will hit her up. No, I will. I love your nan. You've never even met her. But I love her anyway. What's your favourite flavour of tea? Um, Earl Grey. Mine is any fruit tea, but I'm, I guess I would go for... I think I say I'm gay. <laughs> I think I would go with berry if I went with a fruit tea, but I don't really like normal tea. Or Earl Grey. I mean, I've never tried Earl Grey. I really want to try it. Fruit treats. Fruit treats. Fruit treats. Sounds like we're in like um, you know, like those tropical bits in like zoos where you like walk in like with those like plastic <laughs> long bits and then you walk in <laughs> and there's loads of trees. No. Wait, the they're like doors. The long, yeah, 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 the long yeah. And then you walk, strips, yeah, you yeah. walk in. And it's like yeah, I feel like I'm one of them. <laughs> I think. Have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? Fine. <laughs> um. <laughs> Have you really? I've not, I've... Really? <laughs> when I was younger, I think my dad read a bit of um, the first Harry Potter, The Philosopher's Stone, but I've never actually read it myself and I haven't, I haven't even seen all the movies. Then with Hunger Games, I actually bought a pack of all three of the books. Really? And it was only three pounds at like a market stall. And I said to myself I was going to read it and it's on my list to read, but yeah, I still have loads of books to read before it, so I haven't read it, but I own them. And then I haven't read any Twilight. Although, one day, I didn't have a book and I was going to get a smart car tick, so I asked this girl in my year for a book, Postman, and she gave me, like, a behind-the-scenes Twilight book. So technically I read it, but I read about behind-the-scenes of the movie. Um, I own all the Harry Potter books, but I've only oh. read two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I got bored. <laughs> um, so that's still on my list <laughs> to read. <laughs> from like 10 years ago um what you were for <laughs> when you started reading <laughs> i actually think i was <laughs> no i was about seven oh. <laughs> and um never read the hunger games don't really want to just, just shut up when people come over to me and they're like you haven't read the hunger games why are you reading them just shut up i don't want to just shut your face <laughs> and the twilight same same thing for the hunger games just archived yeah. <laughs>
show when you were a child? Um, mm. It depends how young we're talking. Yeah. Do one from when you were like more of a CBeebies kind of girl and then do one from when you were like more of like an eight year old. I like Kipper. Oh yeah, I loved Kipper. Mm. It was really relaxing. Yeah. Um, was it silent? Yeah, I think so. And then, kind of when I was growing up, I liked watching Shaun the Sheep and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Shaun the Sheep. Yeah. Um, when I was, like, younger, I watched... I liked things like 64 Z Lane. That was a good Yeah, show. same. That I was love so that. Good. As soon as I'd watched that, I'd go to bed. Yeah, same. That, that was, was like a good time. <laughs> and then, yeah, then I kind of watched... Um, Shaun the Sheep and stuff, mm. and like CBB stuff, and then, then I got to like, then I discovered Nickelodeon, and I watched things Insane. like, I watched HRO, Just Have Water, and then I started to watch like iCarly and Victorious, and then I discovered Disney, and my all-time favourite childhood show is Good Luck Charlie, so good. When I discovered Nickelodeon, I was just hooked to Spongebob, I didn't watch anything else. <laughs> yeah, I watched Spongebob. That was like my morning kind of thing, like I'd watch Spongebob in the morning, like Saturday yeah. morning. How many countries have you been to? Oh God. Well, take it away, Neil. France, Spain, Cyprus, Greece. I've been to more than that. Jersey, that's not a country, but I'm counting that. Yeah, saying like, I'm going to count all of my islands. Yeah, I've been to the Isle of Wight. I've been to Totnes. Wait, is that an island? I don't know. Yeah, probably. That's so funny, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Turkey. Turkey you was my favourite part of it. No, I didn't. I said yeah, Cyprus, Spain, France and Greece. Oh, it's because I was thinking about Turkey. Turkey, was my, Turkey and Greece are my favourite holidays I've ever had. Um... But I've been to like Spain twice, I've been to France three times, so yeah. Daisy? Daisy's gonna have like <laughs> 20 million long lists. Okay, I'm gonna start from nearby and then I'm gonna <laughs> spread out. Scotland, um, Wales. <laughs> and then France, Spain, Portugal, Greece, Turkey. Have been to Tenerife. But that's a Spanish island. Have been to Menorca, Mallorca, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, same, Spanish same. islands. So you can't really count them. Yeah. Um, Finland. Um, Dubai, Mexico, New York. I guess that's about it. I could have sworn I had ten. Did I say Turkey? No. Mm. Did I say Portugal? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Oh, I don't know. Conan Gray. Cole Sprouse. I think that'd be funny. Because <laughs> he's quite a funny person. And he's not, I mean, yes, he is way older than me, but like, he's the same age as my sister, I think, so it's not that big of a difference. You get me? Yeah. I get you. And if we were sisters and we had a brother, I'd want the Jimmy guy to be up. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> Jimmy Osmond. We love you, Jimmy Osmond. <laughs> you moron. <laughs> Got a silly one. <laughs> moron. <laughs> Eat so much. <laughs> Must <have. laughs> Red motion. Hey, was that what it was? Yeah, but what was the word? I know, but you were like, oh my god, I know that word. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ow. Okay, well. Oh my god, do you understand how much that hurts? It feels like I'm sitting in assembly. Oh yeah, I've got it on my thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my. Like, <laughs> you've got it on your thing. <laughs> so we're gonna do a follow a shout out to Tom from Colchester. Yeah. Cause you. <laughs> I really like him. You comment and like most of our videos and we love you. Yeah, you're literally our biggest fan. I'm sorry if this is embarrassing for you, but 
You're really nice. And we actually live really close to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just shook you living in Gorchester. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Um, so give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. <laughs> turn on post notifications. Um, yeah, sorry we haven't been uploading recently. We've mm. been extremely busy with Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> If yes. you want a gaming channel, yeah, get us, we, yeah. Get us at like 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, we will get a gaming channel. We won't even like... Hesitate. Yeah, we will get it. <laughs> we will do games together. And we will do whatever you want. Just like, when we do it, give us some game suggestions. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bye, family. Oh, wait. Huh? I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> no, you're not so nice. Huh? <laughs> 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 Humala humala. What's up there?